Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Yes, Houston, I am ready for the event. University of the South Pacific, this is Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Station, this is Ms. Tomoyo Ikeda at the University of the South Pacific in Fiji. How do you hear me? I read you loud and clear. Konnichiwa. <laughs> はじめまして、池田と本日司会を務めさせていただきます。池田と申します。青年海外協力隊として、フィジーの首都、え、スダにあります、スバサンガム高校で数学を教えています。え、ナイスミーチュ。マイネームイズトモヨイケダ。アズ
I see. I, I, I see your question. Thank you. Uh, that's an, a very interesting question. <laughs> I would say uh, space station is better because uh, here, uh, under microgravity, you do not need to walk. You can just uh, fly around by pushing a wall like this. You can fly. And plus, a view uh, from a window of a space station is breathtaking. Uh, during the daytime, you can see a blue uh, ocean, green forest, brown land. And uh, nighttime, you can see city night views. In addition, you can see a wide variety of lightning. Uh, plus, sometimes you can see aurora in the polar regions. Uh, it is excellent. Next question. Asanava, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa-san. My name is Asanava, and my question is, how do you work as a team with other races in the space station? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, of course, there are differences based on language, culture, and so on. And I think it is important to accept the differences and pay respect to them. And plus, I think human beings are essentially the same all over the world. So we enjoy living and working together uh, with crew members from different countries. Thank you. Next question, Alessi, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa-san. My name is Alessi. And my question is, what kind of food do you eat, and how do you dispose of the rubbish? <laughs> that, that's an interesting question. I have a couple of food uh, samples. Here's grilled chicken. Uh, it is in a pouch, and when you open the pouch, and it, it is ready to eat. Here's uh, spicy green beans. It is freeze-dried for long-time preservation. You need to add hot water and wait for 15 minutes for this. And uh, ready to eat. These are very tasty. And also, here's another sample of Russian food, canned food. This is meat uh, in white sauce. This is also very tasty. And uh, we, uh, together with... Uh, Russian crewmate uh, eat meals together almost every day, and sometimes we exchange food and enjoy meal. Thank you. Uh, also, okay, with regard to trash, we uh, put trash into trash bags that can be sealed by a rubber band to avoid bad smell. Then we put the bags into a cargo vehicle. A cargo vehicle undocks from the space station and burns up into the uh, Earth's atmosphere. That happens every, uh, every couple of months. Thank you for the good question. Okay. Next question, Jenny, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa-san. My name is Jenny, and the question is, can you apply anything such as lotions or chemical cream in space? A very interesting question. Uh, both can uh, apply and work the same as they do on Earth uh, due to surface tension. Very interesting question. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Furukawa. Thank you. This morning, we are here at the ICT Center, ICT Center video conference room at the University of South Pacific. This facility has been funded by the people of Japan, and this has enabled us to carry out this event. Today, we have uh, students from USB with some questions. 
So we would like to start their questions now. First question, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa-san. Um, my question is, you studied medicine and medical science to become a surgeon. Can you please explain why and how you became an astronaut? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, actually, I had a longing for space from my early childhood. I saw a uh, first human being step on the moon on TV when I was five years old. I was impressed with it. And uh, I became interested in space. And when I was a junior high school student, I w wanted to become a, an astronomer, astronomer or a space engineer. And when I was 17 years old, I had a chance to listen to my uncle's story, who is a medical doctor. He told me that he was very happy when a patient recovers from illness and left a uh, hospital. So I changed my mind to become a medical doctor because I thought uh, I would be of help to patients. And I became a doc medical doctor and I, I liked the job. And one night, when I was working in a night shift, a TV news showed that there would be a new Japanese astronaut selection. Those selected would uh, stay on board the I ISS and conduct many scientific experiments. The news galvanized me, and I really thought I would like to do this job. So I applied for the selection, and fortunately, I was selected. Thank you. Next question, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa. Sorry. Konnichiwa. My question is, um, what is your most memorable moment in space? That's an excellent question. Uh, it was a moment when uh, we uh, solved a, a malfunction and uh, came to a successful end. It was a plant experiment a couple of months ago. And uh, it was a cucumber plant experiment. And after a 24-hour incubation of, uh, of seeds, I was supposed to fix the samples uh, into a, a fix, fixing liquid. And that seal, a sealed container was used for that because the, the fixing liquid was supposed to be harmful uh, should it leak into an, open, into, an, into an open cabin. And one of the O-rings that seals the uh, container uh, got stuck and failed. So we were not recover the situation and we lost the samples. And ground team made every effort to uh, find out the root cause. And actually, air bubbles that mixed into the uh, container, liquid, uh, under microgravity, turned out to be the cause. So we performed the, the same experiment again, and the same phenomenon happened. And due to the uh, excellent instructions from the ground team, I tapped away the bubbles, air bubbles, from the, uh, the O-rings, and uh, the experiment ended up uh, succeeded. So we were uh, overjoyed at this, and it was the most memorable moment. Thank you very much. Next question, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa-san. My question is, can you collect symbol of rocks or anything from space and bring it back to Earth? Well, that's a good question. Well, uh, I think uh, it is acceptable if, the, the, if it is for scientific purposes. And I think it would be great if a, an astronaut or cosmonaut that uh, chooses which rocks to bring back is an uh, uh, 
is a specialist, geology specialist. Next question, please. Konnichiwa, Prukawasan. Uh, my name is Upesh. And my question is, uh, it is said that the ISS has a massive laboratory which conducts various experiments. If it is a space-based ex uh, experiment, then could you please tell what sort of experiments are conducted and how these are essential for the people back on Earth? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, a wide variety of experiments are being conducted on board the space, space station. And let me introduce a, an experiment of uh, protein crystallization. Under microgravity, we can get better quality protein crystallization. On the other hand, uh, when cancer cells grow, uh, cancer cell feeding uh, vessels sometimes grow around them. So uh, if you uh, inhibit the growth of these, uh, this is called angiogenesis. And if you inhibit angiogenesis, uh, it can be a cancer remedy. So we created, made uh, angiogenesis inhibition related protein on board this pr uh, space station. And after bringing it back to Earth and analyzing it, the detailed 3D structure of the protein is determined, resulting in facilitation of development of remedy for cancer. It is just finding a, an appropriate key to a keyhole. Thank you very much for the excellent question. Thank you very much, Mr. Furukawa. Now, on behalf of students from Tsubasangam College, I would like to ask Mr. Victor to have some comments. Victor, please. Konnichiwa, Furukawa san. My name is Victor Kulitangani, and I am a Form 5 student of Tsubasangam College. I'm very honored and privileged to be here today, to be part of this rare, rare program that has uh, brought all our selected students to, this, to the USP campus. I, I would like to thank you for, for taking out your time from your duties as an astronaut to be with us here today. I'd also like to thank you for accepting us to be here and uh, to be here to interact with you through video conference. All in all, I would like to say thank you for having us today, and it is a privilege and an honor, and I hope that we can continue this in the near future to come. Arigato konai, gozaimashita. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words, and very nice talking with you, and to all the people in Fiji, uh, all the best. Thank you very much, Mr. Furukawa. Before we end this session, we have a message from the, we have a message for you. Okay. Se no. Furukawa san, arigato. Ganbatte kudasai. Sayonara. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you, JAXA, and everyone at the University of the South Pacific Station. Station, we are now resuming our operational comms.